Do you think time travel is real? If you could time travel, where would you go and what would you see? That's what we're talking about today. Right now, we can't actually travel back in time, so if you want to learn about history, you're stuck with books and pictures, but it's hard to really feel like you're there, right? Well, things are changing. Thanks to new technology, especially AI, we can now imagine what it would be like to experience historical events as if we were really there. Sounds exciting, doesn't it? In this video, I'll show you step-by-step -step how to create POV, point of view videos of historical events, almost like time travel. Stay with me because we're about to start. Make sure to watch the whole video. It's just 10 minutes because I'll share some great tips, especially at the end, where I'll also give advice on running a YouTube channel. By the end, you'll feel confident and ready to make your own time travel-like videos. Let's get started. Step one, writing your prompts. Writing good prompts can be tricky, but let's make it easier. First, we need some inspiration. Head over to TikTok and search for POV videos to get ideas. Once you've got some inspiration, it's time to use ChatGPT. Input your idea and let ChatGPT help you build it out. For example, let's take this idea. POV. You work as a coal miner in 1986. Ask ChatGPT to create 10 different scenes from a day in the life of that worker. Boom! ChatGPT works its magic. Next, type this into ChatGPT. Give me detailed prompts for AI to generate images for each scene. Then give me prompts to animate them in Hilo AI. Each prompt should be four to five detailed sentences written in first-person view and make it photorealistic. And just like that, you've got everything you need to create stunning visuals and animations. Oh, and I'll be sharing all these prompts and case studies on my Discord channel. If you're interested, check the link in the video description and join. And if you ever run out of ideas, just ask ChatGPT. It'll keep giving you endless inspiration. Step 2. Image Generation Copy the prompt you created and head over to Pick Lumen AI. Click on Launch App, then paste your prompt. Select the Pan Art AI model and set the image ratio to 9 by 16. This is perfect for YouTube Shorts, TikTok, and Instagram Reels. Once everything's set, hit Generate. Repeat this process for all 10 scenes. Once the images are ready, download them and save them to your computer. Easy as that. Step 3. Creating the animation. For animation, I'll use Hilo AI to save time, because, honestly, the free membership wait times can be brutal. Start by copying your animation prompt and heading to Hilo AI. Click on Upload File, Upload Your Image, Input Your Prompt, and choose the Camera Control option. This is a new feature that adds dynamic movement to your animations. Pro tip, even though you can select up to three camera controls at once, as a beginner, stick to one or two. Too many can make things messy. Click Generate, wait for the animation to finish, and download it to your computer. Step 4. Upscale your video clips. I highly recommend this step to improve the viewing experience. Head over to CapCut's website, not the app. It's free. On the left side, select Magic Tools, then Video Upscaler. Upload your video clips one by one. This tool will enhance the quality, making your videos super clear and professional looking. Pretty awesome, right? Step 5. Adding music and sound effects. Here's the cool part. In your scene animation prompts, there are usually sound effects mentioned. For example, scene 1 might have wine sounds, while scene 2 might have the sound of a bus engine. To find matching sound effects, head over to Pixabay. It's a great resource for free, high-quality sound effects that will bring your video to life. Step 6. Editing. 
For editing, I stick with CapCut. Open the app and import your video clips and sound effects. Drag your video clips into the timeline and start organizing them. Cut, resize, and remove any watermarks. Adjust the speed of your clips and delete any shots that don't look good. Next, add sound effects to each video clip to enhance the realism. I love adding a fade-out effect for smooth transitions between scenes. At the end, throw in some background music to set the mood but keep the volume low, around 15%, so it doesn't overpower the sound effects. Here's a neat trick. Add subtitles at the end of your video. This helps your viewers feel more connected to the story and understand what's going on. Subtitles are especially useful for platforms like TikTok and Instagram, where many users watch videos without sound. Once everything's done, export your video. Let's take a look at the final result. With these steps, you'll have a polished, professional-looking POV video that feels like a time travel experience. How's it feel, guys? Pretty cool, right? But wait, having a great video is only half the battle. Let me share some YouTube channel growth tips with you to help you succeed. Tip number one, if you're starting a new channel, don't just upload a video right away. First, make sure your channel looks professional. Add a profile picture, a banner, and set up your channel tags. You can use tools like Canva to design your picture and banner easily. Tip number two, once your channel is set up, don't upload multiple videos in one day, especially if they're short. For a new account, flooding the platform with videos might get you flagged as low quality, which is something you want to avoid. You want the algorithm to get familiar with your channel gradually. For long videos, aim for one to two uploads per week, and for shorts, three to four per week. Tip number three, get savvy with SEO, search engine optimization. The traffic you get from search clicks can really boost your views. Use tools like Google Trends and Vidicar to find trending keywords and make sure they're included in your video title and description. This will help your videos get discovered more easily. Tip number four, be patient. Just because you're not getting a ton of views right away doesn't mean you should quit. Focus on your views over a month, not just a couple of videos. It takes time to build traction and grow your audience. And hey, if you're wondering, why should I listen to someone with only 5,000 subscribers? Well, how about taking advice from someone with 200,000 subscribers instead? That's better, right? All right, that's it for today. Thanks for sticking around to the end. If you liked the video, remember to like, subscribe, and share. Wishing you all the best of luck. See you in the next video.